The iconic Motorola Razr flip phone is back, bringing what we love from the past into the future. Hello from Los Angeles, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Like many of you, I'm sure I love a good old nostalgic release, which is why I'm really excited about today's announcement. This is our Motorola Razr hands-on. Of all the phones that ruled the late 90s and early 2000s, there's nothing more iconic than the Motorola Razr V3, a sleek, edgy, and fashion-forward flip phone. From its launch in 2004, about 130 million Razr V3s were sold, making it the best-selling clamshell of all time. Like the original, the new Motorola Razr is a flip phone. So you can answer and end calls like a boss, but also like the hottest phones of this year, it too is a foldable phone, but to be more precise, a phone with a foldable display. But instead of unfolding horizontally into a square tablet, it folds out vertically. Inside, there's no physical keyboard where there once was. Instead, it's all display. 6.2 inches of it. Surprisingly, there's no noticeable crease on the screen. Motorola says the hinge is designed to flex into the shape of a water drop to avoid this. But we'll see over time if this indeed solves the challenge of this particular type of display technology. When opened up, the new Motorola Razr feels just like any other smartphone. It's just as tall and as wide, but much thinner. Except for this lip down here, which houses most of the phone's components, as well as its fingerprint sensor, which is fast and accurate. When you turn the phone on, you're greeted by Android OS. That means all your favorite apps are right here. There's a small notch on top of the display to make room for the earpiece and selfie camera. Motorola says bringing back that clamshell form factor using today's foldable tech is meant to solve a pain point of customers today. Portability. Out here, there's a second display, not as high res as the main display, but good enough for displaying the time and notifications. You can also tap to view a notification and can also be used for composing selfies using the rear camera. You just rotate your phone like this to activate the camera and smile or flash your palm to trigger the shutter. This rear camera has a 16 megapixel sensor and is located underneath the quick view display. It also serves as the phone's main camera, which you'll find is in the usual spot on the back of the phone when the phone is flipped open. Just like on the original Moto Razr, the new 2019 model is sleek and stylish with an aluminum chassis and sharp edges. The backside has a carbon fiber-like textured finish that feels like plastic. At launch, it will only be available in black, but fingers crossed, we get other color options too. Motorola says it's employed a zero gap hinge mechanism that gives this foldable display a level of toughness that will survive the rigors of the real world. In the hands, the phone actually feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel very fragile at all. In fact, I think I wouldn't mind just snapping it closed like this without a worry. Button port placements are like this, volume and power on the right-hand side, a USB-C port on the bottom chin, as well as a speaker. The phone has no headphone jack, but ships with a pair of USB-C headphones and a USB-C to headphone jack adapter. There's also no SIM card slot. Instead, the new Motorola Razr only supports eSIM. If you take a look at the spec sheet, it's pretty clear that Motorola is focusing on that hip fashion forward crowd. With Qualcomm's Snapdragon 710 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, and only a 2510 milliamp hour battery, albeit with a bundled 15 watt turbo charger. In the US, the Motorola Razr will be exclusively available on Verizon for $62.49 a month for 24 months on Verizon's device payment plan. Pre-orders start December 26 and will hit retail stores beginning January 9, 2020. It will also be available in select markets across Europe, Latin America, Asia, and Australia. And the price tag? 1,500 US dollars. Is that too much to pay for the new Motorola Razr? Does its new foldable display, chic form factor, and compact size make up for its high price tag and mid-range specs? Let me know by joining our poll up here. 
And that was a quick hands-on with the new Motorola Razr. For more videos like this one, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.